Snapchat finally taken for team leaderboards. Let's go. Finally, we got the snapshot. We've been waiting, I don't know how long, for this snapshot. And it's honestly caused a ton of people a lot of stress. I've seen on Twitter so many people posting they're dropping out of these leaderboards that they worked hard to get into like a month ago now, maybe even longer. I was just looking at my team leaderboard spreadsheet and the first column here for the members of the channel, I put this out, uh, I guess, four different times. But the first time I documented the top 750 spot in the leaderboard was on July 20th. And now we're here almost two months later in September 16th, four days away from being two months uh, from that first time I documented it. So probably the leaderboards have been a thing for over two months now, which is insane. And I'm going to document this again one last time for the top 750. And then when they announce maybe the next reward is top 1,000, maybe top 2,000 for the next reward. So then I'll document that for you guys and hopefully they have just a set date this time because not having a set date just caused people a lot of stress and uh yeah it was it was crazy honestly for me i was buying stuff and if you guys didn't watch my video on why i was going for a team leaderboard check that one out it'll be in linked in the top of the description i'll see the end card of this video but essentially i went for the Cavs leaderboard I finished with 600th, and I was not expecting the snapshot to come on a Friday. I was thinking it was going to come Monday before they run it back pack drop and archive pack drops, which I'll make a full video on that next week. I can't remember the exact date those are coming. Hopefully, it's like Wednesday or Thursday so I can get that video out Monday. But I was trying to set myself up uh, to not have to add anything lock anything over the weekend and i just did calves so it wasn't as stressful for me i know a bunch of people were trying to do like every single team almost and they started the top 500 maybe even top 400 and they were like sliding in the 700s and 800s at the end and then you got to lock stuff for every team which was just crazy so they finally locked them took a snapshot I got in the Cavs one, which I think is a really good one because it is from the past decade, and I go more into this in that previous video if you want to check it out, but they the Cavs won a championship in the previous decade, so I think they can get a championship badge. It's going to have the debut badge. If we look at the snapshot leaderboard, it says if you are in the top 750, we're going to get airdrop this. So the first ever team moment on Top Shot are yours. They're rare tier and they're coming with Top Shot debut badges. So they are a team moment, multi highlight team reel. And apparently they haven't made them yet, but they're trying to get them out as soon as possible. So maybe by the end of next week after the drops would be sweet. And yeah, so. Definitely first time I've been excited in a minute for Top Shot. Just finally made it in the leaderboard. I can't imagine for everyone that's been going for it for like all 30 teams. And why I was looking at this Kevin Porter Jr. This one went up to all the way in the 200s. I think I bought this for 130 when I was trying to complete some of these sets. And this was the bottleneck for the, I always forget what they're called, the contemporary i think set uh this was probably the most expensive purchase i made just for the leaderboards and then i got that dylan windler as well for 60 i think but that one got up to over 100 now i guess they're dropping because people don't need to buy them anymore for a while so could be a good time honestly if you keep your eye on some of these bottlenecks to buy them when they drop like this could drop below 50 in the next few weeks here because people aren't really locking stuff and going for bottlenecks for team sets. So just a, an, an idea there. If you guys want to try to flip some of those around leaderboards uh, in the future. But yeah, I was stoked. You could see 
Uh, for my activity, I was putting out a lot of offers on Cavs moments. You'd see Sexton, Lamar Stevens, Jetty Osmond. These are all still pending for a dollar. I mean, honestly, I'll take them for a dollar still. A Lamar Stevens, five dollars for his debut, which is going for like seven. So I was buying up a lot of these, just the floor moments, but then I also was going for Evan Mobley rookie moments because I think rookie moments are just good to have in general. So picked up a Mobley rookie 34 and locked that one. So that was just my strategies going for Mobley moments and then floor moments and then bottlenecks and team sets. So finally got this snapshot across. So I'm definitely excited to get this reward. It's going to be awesome to pull it. It could even pull it. A pretty good cereal and I did my predictions for the prices of these honestly these might go up my predictions because I did like 110 at the lowest for some of these teams but there was just so much like stress and buying to get into these top spots that I don't think people are going to be selling them and like dumping them after they did all this so these prices may be really low on these predictions but some of the best ones was Cavs, I thought, because, you know, LeBron could be in it and Kyrie and it could be a championship. And then Heat obviously could be LeBron, Wade, maybe Bosch, something like that, a championship moment. Some other of the high ones, uh, Celtics and then like Lakers, I think it's going to be over a thousand. Same with Warriors. And then Bucks could be championship as well. So I think those are going to be the high ones. But hopefully you guys got in on these leaderboards. I was definitely stoked to be able to finally have this come to an end and uh, get in the leaderboard. So I guess the next thing is the run it back and archive drops, which let's just check four days away and 23 hours. So uh, that's like Wednesday or Thursday of next week. And then we got the archive set. I guess they're all on the same day. Oh no, archive and run it back are on the same day. And then you got, so no way, so we got the archive set coming in five days, run it back coming in six days, and then the legendary run it back in seven days. So I'll dig all into that in my next video. But if you guys enjoyed this one, Definitely check out my other video on the leaderboards and why I went for the specific team and my basic strategy because I didn't get all into that in this one. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to get in on that leaderboard spreadsheet. And I'm also going to be putting out my price predictions for run it back and archive moments as well for this drop next week. So stay tuned for that into the channel and I'll catch you guys in another video.